down here. <clears throat> okay, back with another live stream <clears throat> and back to try to work on the DNS server name server on the Net Pro Max. Um, let me check my screen to make sure it's all good. Okay, um, <clears throat> that looks good. Now let's go to the desktop and uh, I'm gonna go to a screenshot here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through some screenshots of what I've been doing and uh, <clears throat> um, this is actually yeah this is a screenshot from yesterday yesterday's video but the things I'm gonna go back through and I think I'm gonna change some things in this in the config files <clears throat> but I want to run I thought that's a good command uh, give some good information um, let's run it now and oddly today I'm going to show that in these screenshots uh, my uh, website is uh, I got it notices you know in my email saying that uh, bishopco.com and bishopco.homeip.net was down let's see was, uh, and uh, I have to go to the oh I haven't turned on the net pro max yet <clears throat> well let's uh, go ahead and watch it boot up then Oh, I sure would like to be able to control the, uh, let's see, okay, I'd like to be able to control the OBS Studio from another machine. There, there's an app, <coughs> getting my KVM switched over, okay, get that up and going, there's an app for remote controlling it with a phone. Of course, I don't actually have a free phone. Well, the one that I'm using for my audio, my lapel mic, I could do that with it. But you have to be streaming from a Windows machine. It only talks to Windows OBS Studio, not Linux. Or last time I checked, it's been quite a while since I checked. Anyway, we'll get the uh, <clears throat> get it booted up. Oh, now I can see that I'm not exactly lined up. I couldn't see. It was kind of crooked in my test. I did a bunch of tests because I'm, anyway, I won't go into all that, but it's okay. You're not missing any of the screen, but I can see a little light on the right side of that. Oh, yeah, I usually have something in there that helps a little bit. Uh, a bag, uh, a sure microphone bag that actually has some other stuff in it. But let's see, hit the escape key so we can see the uh, terminal output. And I haven't, you know, I mean, I wasn't, I forgot, I just forgot to turn it on, but there's not anything really to show, no errors or anything that I know of. <clears throat> and, of course, if there were any that, I didn't see it all, but uh, if there were any, I don't think there's a single error on the boot screen on this, which is <laughs> not, not normal for me. Because <laughs> I'm always messing around and experimenting with new software and uh, or new stuff I find it might not necessarily be new. Well, sometimes it is new. I, I, I you know, manually install stuff from you know, GitHub or whatever, but uh, uh, <clears throat> not on this. This is brand new. I haven't put anything on there that didn't come with a Fedora 23 net install system set up. And, uh, when, and uh, that reminds me when I installed the, the DNS server, you know, it just says DNS server. It doesn't give you much details. And, uh, uh, I read something, and I'll show it in a minute. As a matter of fact, I think that screenshot may have that in it. Well, no, it, well one of them does. Let me go back to my main machine. It, there's a note, uh, some notes in the... Uh, uh, there's some notes in one of the setup files. Yeah, this is not it. Uh, so, but, but there's some notes in one of the setup files that says... That this is actually that this is a meant to be a DNS caching server, uh, not a DNS name server for you know online name server. So uh, definitely the I don't know I think it would still work if I just change the configuration files uh, the way they need to be. But I'm not a hundred percent sure about that, so I need to fi figure that out. But anyway, I'm gonna I need to get I need to go do a little research. I thought I'll just do it. I've been, you know, I've been, I'll just do it in the video because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch any more videos. I'm gonna do some reading, you know. And I mean, I don't want to just sit and read the whole time. But anyway, the whole video. But anyway, uh, let's do host name CTL. My sites have been 
Bishop Kodak business has been up, but dot Bishop Kodak.com. Let's see, that's my preview. Okay, now we want to go to have to get on there to run the commands. Let's see, it's 153. There it is, 153.9090, and then I can log in to the Net Pro Max. And uh, getting the terminal there. <clears throat> yeah, I can't talk and do other things at the same time. So I guess I'll talk as, uh, as I do. So what are we going to run? What's the command we're going to do? Uh, I was trying to tell a little bit ahead of time to see host name CTL. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> the host name is Bishop Code local domain, which would be, that's right. You know, that's what I would expect. Uh, desktop, Fedora server. Okay. And it tells the, uh, I think, is that the same as I got when I did it last time? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I just thought it was interesting. That That's a good, I like that. Uh, I like that command. Let's see if I can. I like the, uh, yeah, I like that command and I'd like to save it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save it in a text file before I forget. Because I saw it in the, in that screenshot that I made a screenshot and I never, if I don't put them in a text file, then, you know, I may never find them again. Once I get, forget, forget that I have it in that screenshot. <clears throat> well, the text file, you can, you know, you can search for them. You can, I give it a name. I'll give it a name that identifies what it is. Well, that's weird. I don't like when you get all that weird formatting. Let's make it. I tried to find a way to default. I know there used to, I've done it, but used to always do it. I can't set my default text size to 14, and that's what I needed at, and unformatted text. There we go. Yeah. Name CTL. Well, I hit the wrong button. HST and Amy CTL. Save you. Um, where do I want? I'm gonna put it in the websites folder because it doesn't pertain to Fedora 28 necessarily. That would be use text format. So now, and that'll tell me. Oh, that is about my website though isn't it that's all that's what that was ran for let's see i'd like to have it in both places what does it say i just saw something save as a template export oh how about that yeah so let's do that i think it makes it be in both places version epub no epub that's weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the. I've never done it before, so. EPUB text. That's what it looks like. Huh. That I don't know what EPUB is really really is, but anyway. Oh, there. I already have it in there from today. They put them both in there or something? There it is. Maybe it does both. I don't know if that EPUB means you could put it online and it's like a format that can be read by other, <coughs> you know. I mean, text works online. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Uh, it's something that can be used. It sounds familiar. I wonder if sounds. It makes me think it might be something to do with like... Uh, Readers, you know, like uh, Kindle type things, stuff like that. Okay, so anyway, next thing is, okay, now you, yesterday I think I pretty well, I didn't do it, but I, I wanted to wait and make sure that I knew what I was doing. But it looks to me like it says search bishopco.us.2, uh, you know, for the, in the DNS, uh, well, in the DNS caching server, search for the host names. Uh, and uh, 
Bishop Code of Local Domain. And, and the name server is 192.168.0.1. Well, that's my router, not the machines. Now, I think that needs to be the machines IP. The Bishop Code at US.2, I don't think I put that in there. I was working on Bishop Code at Biz. So I think that resolved config might have often been automatically been generated. And it looked to my router to get that. Of course, it looked to the machine for its local host name, and then it looked to my router because my router has bishop code us.2 in it. So before I edit this file, I'm going to go change uh, that, either change it to bishop code.biz to see what happens, or I really want it to ultimately end up being bishop code.com. But, uh, or, it, or in the router, actually, I might want to leave it out because I know in the in past I would leave it out completely of the router because. Uh, sometimes in my other routers, it would foul things up with my forwarding. You know, uh, when the when the when the router had uh, a host name put into it, then it, my forwarding wasn't working right. It's working uh, like this right now, where I has been. Uh, so uh, anyway, so I'm gonna take that out of the router. Let's just do that right now. That's something that can't really hurt anything else too much. Let's see. Get back to where I need to be. This is yeah, I'm going to take it out of the router right now. And just take it out. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm not sure where to go. I'll just have to look and see. Yeah, that's the, go back to the first page and see. Okay, that's where my passwords are. I don't want to go there. That's where all my where all my uh, clients are. Oh, Dell six thousand. Okay, <clears throat> that's the laptop. And there's my. Okay, that is that is the Net Pro Max, and then uh, phones Gateway five hundred. It's showing up again. I rebooted it, and the, and the router outside. And then the IBM still shows up, I think, because I have it set to, uh, I guess it doesn't show. Yeah, reserve IP enable, but I think it's, it doesn't say in there. I don't know. I, you know, usually you can set how long to reserve it for, time TTL, time to live. But I don't see that in there. But anyway, uh, it's, you know, it's not running. <laughs> but it's funny because the IBM will not show. I mean, the, yeah, the Gateway 500 often doesn't show up when it's running and you can connect to it, but the IBM is still showing up even though it's over there behind me. You can see it when you see that picture. When you see that camera one of me behind me and behind my shoulder, it's uh, sitting in the floor. Tablet, <laughs> printer, okay. Features, uh, static route, don't want it to be DNS, port forwarding, website filter. Maybe it's in the dynamic DNS. Let's see. No, it might be in management. System admin. No. I think it's in, no, it's not in port forwarding. I go in there all the time. <coughs> it's not in the firewall. Wizard Internet Wireless Network. Maybe it's in network. I guess that's where I hadn't gone yet. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so uh, see, I've got bishopcode.us.2, and that has been working. Let's see if my website's working. I'll show you what I, before I get to even to those screenshots. Uh, bishopcode.biz has been working all evening, except for while I had the thing rebooting. Bishopco.com should redirect to bishopco.us.2, but see it's not loading. You see how it's not loading? And it's still trying to load. And sometimes it actually does finish loading, but I think it's loading from the cache on my web browser. That's one thing that'll trick you when you try to go to your website on the internet, but it's actually, well, it's in your cache. But the other thing is you can usually hit reload to, to make sure about that. But... <clears throat> The other thing is sometimes your web browser will, I don't know how it makes it decide to or not to, but it'll take the shortest path when it figures out maybe the DNS, maybe, well, it might be to do with the DNS 
things that are you know caching that's in your in your system your your operating system the the client that you're on you know that not the server uh, it says well I know where that is that's right on your local network so it goes straight there yeah I'm start, that starts to make more sense to me now I've always known it did that but I was like why does it do that exactly and sometimes I like I said I, I get things I learn them and then I forget them again if I don't use them anytime see it's not gonna go so um, but normally it does so what I'm gonna do anyway I'm not sure what that is I mean I want to go I, I might be I might go to my I mean I will go to my uh, forwarding site I'm gonna hit save on that what I'm gonna do is have nothing in the local donate domain name and see if that uh, if you change the IP address the router you will need to change the IP address of your browser before accessing the configuration website huh Well, what doesn't make sense to me? <clears throat> um, the IP address of the router is not going to change. Maybe it just means you're going to have to log back in, and it's counting down. It's like it's giving you time to think about it or something. Time to read that, I guess. Or, well, actually, doing that, I made it. That, uh, the router's rebooting. Can't, well, I haven't seen it do it yet. Usually, so now I've got it back to where I can see the light on the router, and usually when it goes orange, it kind of catches my eye. Maybe it's going to do it when it gets done counting down. I'll, I'll watch and see. <coughs> but if it did it, I just was so busy trying to read that I didn't see it. But I moved my new modem out of the way so I could see my router. Well, I moved it to get it away from the antennas on the router because I thought it might be interfering with my video because I'm my mouth is you don't even see my mouth move at all sometimes okay so yeah i lost connection but i never did see the router go down not all actions make seem i didn't lose it or anything so i don't know what that was supposed to mean not all actions um cause you to uh, have to reboot the router and of course the well it might have been you know, HTTP D-Link router dot local. Um, that is the default. I never use it. Uh, I use the IP address. That's the way I've always done it. But, um, <clears throat> and DNS relay enabled. Why is that enabled? Huh. Well, I don't know why that's enabled. I wonder if I need to turn that off now that I have nothing in there. DNS relay. Um, before I take off, I'm going to uh, go to a different section and then go back there. Before I come out of there, I'm going to see what that is because I need to understand that. See, it's still enabled, but it's not. Uh, it wouldn't have anything to do with that. I don't know if I ended up having to do that to get my, in this particular router. Not all the routers work the same with those uh, forwarding services and stuff. And it's really for ease of client configuration. You've enabled the ISP's DNS server address to the primary secondary fields. Huh. It doesn't seem to be related to what, you know, to my to my uh, local domain name. It seems to be related to the IP address I get from my ISP. There we go. D-Link uh, router. This is probably not the same router. It's a different looking interface, but <coughs> but may not be. Sometimes that's not going to be right. Unchecked. Just tells you to leave it unchecked. Sure that this is unchecked. Huh. But what are 
Supplement DNS real. Oh, it's got a little DNS caching server built into it, I think. To make sure you flush it. Oh, make sure that your settings take effect. Yeah, but what are we trying to achieve here? <clears throat> Open DNS. Oh, that's uh, one of those sites I was talking about where you can get a... No. Open DNS. That's, de that's different than... Uh, I was thinking of SSL. There's an, I think it's called Open SSL. Two months ago. Oh, this is so you can use Open DNS requests. Please follow these steps. To, oh, I guess you could tell your your machine to, to talk to Open DNS for uh, their DNS server. <clears throat> That's interesting. I wonder if that would have anything to do with uh, I'd like to put that somewhere else besides well let's just put it in my D-Link router folder because it pertains to a D-Link router. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's see if that is just tell me that is a D-Link form. Use your router for DNS server. Uncheck the box. Huh. Enabling the DNS server, they will turn DNS server for the. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I get what I get. Uh, I kept getting a. Well, that's not the right command, but when I did. DNS lookup. Um, Let's just do my domain. Chico.com. So that goes through all of my, uh, <clears throat> you know, my, like I did yesterday, it goes through my uh, GoDaddy and I guess even the, and even the uh, FreeDNS. Oh, damn it. See, that only goes straight to my router because that's how I have it pointed on GoDaddy. And it shows <clears throat> now that's that's name server lookup. So maybe that's confirming that the router is a little name server when you turn that on. I couldn't understand why it was doing that. Then maybe also why my configuration's acting weird in my where was I? So uh <clears throat> to me things open that aren't useful. Um so what I'm going to do, since it logged me out, I just closed it. Let me put this in the D. Uh, this is still about the D-Link router. So you turn the access, turn the, <coughs> in turn causes the router to give itself out as a DNS server for the local computers <coughs> is a better solution. But there's one <coughs> we still need to do. Each local DHCP client will always have one that adds a DNS server, but the router is still dependent on the WAN link to be active to learn the ISP, right? And if it's a return to its proxy, each request to those DNS servers, you can actually hard code your ISP's DNS server entries by filling in primary DNS address. 
secondary DNS address under your SP setup on your computer. This internet so and so. Okay, let's see. All right. <clears throat> that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that answers a few questions that I didn't in, 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 intend to find just now. So that's why I'm just taking everything one step at a time. I thought I better better just take things one step at a time. So so here's my uh, primary DNS server, secondary. That's from my ISP. See? But since the uh, since I had that turned on, I don't know why I had it turned on. I thought I needed to for some reason. Uh, maybe because I put that in there and I didn't uh, understand what I was doing. Probably okay. I'm gonna disable it. And also, I'm not gonna have my local domain in there. <coughs> Takes a while there. <clears throat> now my uh, my DNS servers will be the you know the ones that I get. And I'm not going to set static with all that stuff about static set static ones if, and stuff like that. Uh, I'll, you know they do change once in a while. And besides, the whole thing is um, I don't want it interfering with my NetPro Max's DS server talking to the internet properly. And I just, you know, the best way to not have it not do that is to just turn it off. <clears throat> and then when I go, because I could go all that, all this work with the config files and st things not working, and would, I never would have known that. That's lucky that I, it's a blessing, <laughs> more than luck, it's a blessing that I ran across that, because that's not what I was looking for. <clears throat> I just uh, caught while well, I started to leave, and it, it just kept here. Look at that, you know, coming back in my kind of the corner of my eye. I saw that enable DNS relay. And I'm like, wait a minute, that sounds familiar. That sounds a lot like what I'm doing here with my trying to do, trying to get working. <clears throat> so maybe, um, what I, well, let me get rid of all that extra stuff. There we go. So yeah, these uh, see these these DNS servers. That's the internet DNS servers from the ISP that will tell us, you know, the things we we're looking for. Okay, so <clears throat> now maybe things won't. Uh, Okay, let's do the IP address of this machine now. Let's do another one first. I didn't realize this the other day, but see, you can just type NS lookup, and then it'll just let you keep typing in new uh, IPs or domain names until you, until as long as you want. So uh, <clears throat> this is actually, <laughs> this is called, I think, interactive mode. Okay, it says time, uh, oh, okay. No servers could be reached, okay. Let's see if things have changed on the ones that I've been able to reach. 
things have been going crazy about reaching. Well, like I said, I can't get to Bishop. I can't get to uh, HomeIP.net right now. But it's not my server. Uh, it's not my router. Uh, I actually was able to log when I first noticed it. I was logged into my logged into my server out there. The gate, not the Net Pro Max, but the Gateway Five Hundred, the one that's online. And see now they're not working. Huh. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, okay. So you know that is why I had all that on because that was the only way I could get my. Uh, well, I shouldn't have done two things at once. Now I don't know which one did what. Darn it. I should have went ahead and typed these commands again. When I took my IP out of the router, uh, homeip.net, uh, but we'll finish my sentence, um, my story. I, I was able to log in. It wasn't, you know, I couldn't, I could load bishopco.biz. Uh, uh, I could get bishopco.biz, but I couldn't get any donsongs.com, bishopco.com, bishopco.homeip.net. None of them would work. And so I thought, well, let's see if the server's, you know, even contactable from in here. <clears throat> and if it's if it's contactable from in here, then uh, I'll reboot it, you know, and see if that's got anything to do with it. So I, I got on Putty a uh, little terminal app, remote terminal app. I'll show you what Putty looks like. And uh, yeah, you have to you have to you have to remember your IPs. And there's not I don't need to log in there, but I use SSH, and you just get a remote terminal. Just like I, just like that's a remote terminal I'm working in right here on the Net Pro Max, and uh, <clears throat> so I rebooted it, and that didn't change anything. Then I went out there later and I re rebooted the router. That didn't change anything, and so <clears throat> that's when I realized, well, I'm, I will start out with this before I go into the rest of the config file stuff on my. <clears throat> So, um, you know, <clears throat> okay, let's go again. Let's see. Uh, let's keep going, and, and before I do any, go back into the router and change anything, you know, again. But, yeah, I should have done this first, and then I would know <clears throat> that for sure which thing is causing this. Uh, Bishop code out biz. Uh-oh, now OBS Studio is loose. Oh, I've lost my feed. That I mean, why is it doing that? I'm just I'm making sure my backup video is working like it should. Yeah. Well, yesterday I had to upload my backup video, so I'm just going to keep going because I got a backup video. I think I'll close this. No need in having that working. The I uh, didn't mean to leave it open that way. Working the machine too hard. Okay, so bishopco.com can't be reached either. Uh, no, not home. That's my old one. Home IP dot net dot us dot two. I don't expect it to be reachable either. We'll see. Well, it is. Well, actually, no. <clears throat> I think yeah. It's it's forwarded to here, so it should just say not reachable again. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so none of it's reachable now. So that broke. Now let's see. One fifty-three. That's the Net Pro Max, and we'll see if we can reach. Now that's local, so I think I could reach that. Well, I haven't been able to though. So this is what I was wondering if this would. The router was stopping me from getting to it. No. Okay. Fifty four. So I don't know if turning off the caching server did this or <coughs> um, taking the IP address out of it did that. Because what is it? So let's go back and turn on the caching server again and see if that uh, is what did it. Network. That must, since I am doing what I'm doing, see, it starts at 80 second countdown. 
So since I'm doing what I'm doing, <laughs> I, I hit uh, print screen and hit enter immediately without waiting for it to come up. I keep doing that. It used to be a little faster than that. And you could you could do that, <laughs> but I don't necessarily. I don't really mean to do it. I'm just preoccupied. So uh, <clears throat> when it um, <coughs> I completely lost my stream. Oh, my router is rebooting. Well, no wonder. Yeah, my stream is just uh, gone. It's lost. Because I'm rebooting my router, of course. So this video is going to have to be a, a not a streaming video, period. So what I need to do is... Uh, Wait till this gets to rebooting. Actually, I don't need to sit here and watch it, do I? I can stop the stream without uh, stopping. Yeah, if I stop the stream, it won't stop the recording. So that's the way I have it set up, and that's why. Because there's times when uh, you may need, right now, this is the number one reason why I do that. <clears throat> because you may need to stop your stream, but you don't want the recording to stop. So that's still recording. So this is going to have to be an upload. That's okay. I mean, it's not what I planned, but that's fine. You know what? I did this. I think I did something like that. Oh, maybe I didn't yesterday. I, w it, I wasn't in the router when it re when I lost my stream yesterday. But I might as well... Uh, okay, I can close that machine down. The only thing I don't like about it is without being live stream, I can't I have no way to check that everything's working. See, I can just hit that, unmute the sound over there on the laptop <coughs> and uh, see that my sound is working and everything. So if I make any mistakes, you know, in my setup here, or if anything quits working, sometimes you see the signal, but it's not going to video. And uh, you can know it when you're live streaming, but you can't know it if you're just recording a video. But we'll have to live with that because uh, without realizing it, this is what I did. So... Uh, <coughs> Let's see. I just don't know. I was going to try to say what I think is going to happen. Okay, now it works. Okay. Looky there. All right, <coughs> but. <coughs> it's an odd IP that it came up with, but. Bishopco.com came up it just like, uh, let's see, where's Bishopco.biz? Yeah, it comes up with the router's IP. Bishopco.com this time, oh no, that, that's, that's my external IP. So that should, uh, if I just did that, yep, brings up my website because, you know, the gateway's still running, so gateway 500. <clears throat> okay, so... That's why that needs to be on, or for I mean, and well, except for now that I'm trying to set up this, you know, now that I'm trying to set up my DNS server, well, that does make my website go down. But uh, <coughs> actually, this is going to interfere. This is going to, or will it? Okay. <laughs> uh, that means I have a DNS server in my router. And if it answers on the internet, and I'm pointing to my servers, then but I still can't. But 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 still okay. But if but it's not capable. I mean, there's no settings. You can't change anything. It's, well, it's really it's just a caching DNS server. Yeah. Where's that thing I was reading? Uh, 
at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Enable. Let's see, where was it where it said enable DS? Yes. Disable. <laughs> oh, di why don't they say enabled and disabled instead of weirdly backwards like that? Okay, DNS relay. Oh, and hard coded. Okay. DNS relay enabled. Hard coded. Well, I don't want it hard coded. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And that's kind of confusing me because he's talking about his own scenario. But, so this is a DNS relay, DNS caching server. And I'll show you in a little bit why, how come I figured that out. And it's when it's enabled, <clears throat> okay, it answers the router. It answers to the internet, okay? And, uh, let's see. See if all of them. Oh, you can't. Their memory doesn't work in a screen like that. Memory of your last uh, things you've typed in. Okay, so all my domains work like that. So that's why I turned that on. I probably learned that when I first got this router. <coughs> not an authoritative, non-authoritative answer though. This is not authoritative DNS server. So that's a good example of a non-authoritative DNS server. Uh, been kind of mentioning that back and forth. I'm figuring, learning that too. <clears throat> but it's actually talking to the internet. Only thing is, I can't. I don't. There's no way I can do it that I know of. I mean, maybe actually, this router you can put DD uh, DDWRT on it. You might be able to uh, set all that up in it. <clears throat> it. Might be a good way to do it. <clears throat> But I mean, what I'm saying is set up all my uh, websites. If I was only going to um, one website, then it probably would work uh, just straight with the router. But since I have got, I want to host multiple websites. One fifty four. Now that is the Gateway five hundred. Can't find it though. Okay. I guess the reason it can't find it because <clears throat> the the router is talking on the internet. It's not a. It's not a. I mean, obviously, I can see my domain names. Uh, either well, either. The bishop code up biz is hard coded to my external IP. The others are forwarded to it through a free DNS. And I can't, the reason I keep getting can't see those, those are internal IP addresses. So it's not, uh, it's not serving up internal, it's, ter it's serving up web addresses, not internal network addresses. Okay. Now all this. Before that gets taken away, you know, before it, yeah, host name CTL still there. I'm going to copy all that, save it in a file again. Now I might do some more commands, but before I get any further, <coughs> make a new, make a new file, and I'm going to, Put something in there to let me know. NS lookups, I guess. And I'll probably take out that first part so that it won't be confusing to me when I start reading it. You get those long bunches of uh, code in there. I mean, terminal output in there. I'm, uh, this is not actually all that long, but yeah, I'm gonna get that out of there.
already have a hmm oh no There we go. <clears throat> I think I'll leave it in case I want to add to it. Okay, now. Oops. <clears throat> yes, yeah, I was fixing to hit my button to see if everything was okay, but I can't I'm listen to my stream. Okay, so. So I don't need my bishop. It's like I thought. I don't need my domain name in there. It, 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 it's. Uh, Actually, yeah, from what I remember, let me go back. Let's see, I'm going to close that one now. Let's search results. From what I remember, all these already came up. Anyway. But, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go to our... Let's go back to why I was... Now, see if this made any difference. Before I move on to my Net Pro Max settings and all that stuff. And what I'm going to do, though, ultimately, is turn it back off. And see, it, I think, see, the, I, I can tell, right? Okay, if, if my router answers is a DNS server, then how can my uh, <clears throat> from Max answer is a DNS server? I think it's going to be in the way, okay? So uh, I'm going to leave that right like it is for now. Now let's go back to my screenshots. And, uh, yeah, I was saying, let's see, what is it? Okay, host name, CTL. I was saying that I may need, yeah, that's why I got into the router. Uh, yeah, I might want to go and look at uh, see if hostname CTL has changed. Let's do that next because, yeah. Then I'll look at my zone, well, yeah, my zone files, and here's what I was talking about. <clears throat> well, let's go to let's mention since I'm going around and around with this. Here's the note I was talking about. In uh, this is in named config. This cat was put. You know, this is note. Uh, this is some notes and some comments. This provided by Redhead Bind Package to configure the ISC Bind named DNS server as a caching only server. Now, see, that's what got me a clue. I was like, oh, I saw that and didn't pay enough attention. As a local host DNS server only, but I can't reach it on the local host. <clears throat> and so I'm, that's why one of the things I've been going around with. See, user share doc bind sample for. This is already set up and working. It, and when you do the commands to test it, it says it's working and there's no errors. And then here's uh, options and stuff that I don't. Whoops, I didn't know. I was rolling that. I normally roll my mouse wheel to do things, but. Uh, huh. Oh, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to page down. I roll my mouse wheel to page up and down on a website, but this is a web page, but it's a screenshot of a web page. This isn't. Uh, I finally decided to use this uh, image viewer because it opened up real quick when I click on it on the, and I was able to set it to, uh, as a default for Crusader when I double click on the file because <clears throat> the one I like so much, Gwen View, it uh, something wrong it's went buggy. It does it takes forever to open. It went turn into a memory hog. I wonder if it has a memory hole in it now or something. Uh, it was uh, to open it up really slow, and then it was using a bunch of bunch of CPU, not memory, but CPU when it was running. Okay, so <clears throat> now this. Okay, some of this listen on port fifty three, and uh, the IP addresses I put any instead of spe specifying any, you know, like local IPs or anything. Uh, IPB IPB six I put none. I did this for all the studying I did and learning about how to do this. The dump file, the statistic, memtet. These I didn't bother with. Uh, rec oh, recursing file. Okay, there's a recursing file. Uh, yeah, okay. Those I didn't, I didn't bother with any of those. But allow query uh, 192.168.0.1. Now, I think I put that in there thinking that's what I want. <clears throat> but maybe I, I wonder if I could put any in there. I think it seems like I had to put, um, I think maybe you can put a whole list of like um, all your local IPs that you want to allow to query this DNS server, but 
I figured if I put my router, then anything that talks to my router does anything that's forward. Okay, any <clears throat> if I when my router's forwarded to the Netball Max, that makes it okay, right? That's my thinking. <clears throat> okay, now next note here: if you're building an authoritative DNS server, see it says this is meant this is meant to be a caching local DNS server, and that's what the router is that I was just discovered. I didn't know it had that built into it. I was saying the other day some of them do, and I guess that's where I remembered. I, I, I vaguely remembered some of them do. Yeah, the one I just bought, my newest one. Okay, so if you're building an authoritative DNS server, do not enable recursion. Uh, <clears throat> if you uh, are building a recursive caching DNS server, you need to enable recursion. Now, it's enabled down here at the bottom, recursion. Yes, so I need to say no to get it to do what I want, but I didn't do that yet because I didn't want to jack everything. I want to get... Of understanding of what's going on before I start editing stuff because I know how bad I could mess things up. Now, then, if your recursive DNS server has a public IP address, oh, okay. If your recursive DNS server has a public IP address, you must. Now, it actually doesn't, but I was getting trying to give it one. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, trying to get it to talk on the internet. But it says you must enable access control to limit the queries to your legit. To your legitimate users. Okay, that's why they're always typing in all those IPs that are allowed to access it now. Okay, failing to do so will cause your server to become part of a large scale DNS amplification attacks. Implementing BCP38 within your network would greatly reduce such attack surfs. Okay, now I don't know what BCP38, and I thought I was just one of the things I thought I was going to have to have to look up, but now I realize it says if you're Recursive DNS, it is a recursive DNS server right now. Uh, doesn't say that up there, does it? But I figured it out from reading all this. <clears throat> okay. Um, recursion is on. So it's a recursive DNS server. Now, if, I, uh, if it had a public IP address, which it actually doesn't, and it won't, uh, except for being, you know, forwarded to it from the router. Uh, but I'm going to turn off recursion. So then that, neg that negates this. I was worried about that section. I thought, I'm going to have to do a bunch more work. But actually, once I turn off recursion, then I'm okay. <clears throat> All right, I just now understood that. What's this? More stuff. More of the same screenshots. Okay, now let's go back. These are screenshots I made ye uh, yesterday of this. Yeah, now let's go see if this has been automatically changed by me changing my router. I might have to uh, restart the services or reboot the Net Pro Max or something. <coughs> uh, I think it's res. I don't remember the command system CTL restart uh, named or something maybe, but so I'm not sure about that. I'll probably just restart the Net Pro Max. We'll see. Uh, the, I have the command somewhere. Well, I guess I have them in the, in those files I've been saving. So uh, first, let's go look. First, we want to do is open up uh, etc resolve config. Okay. Etc resolve config. Okay, so let's do it this way. Oops. Okay. This is one of the ones I thought, yeah, now it's still just like it was. Okay. <clears throat> but never fear. Um, I'm just going to have to hit Control X to get out of it so that I can go back to the terminal, I guess. <clears throat> Let's see. going to reboot it to me that that's just going to be quicker and simpler than trying to remember the commands i'm so iffy on and once it gets done i can say i'm looking at it so i'll know when it's rebooted and i'll hit reconnect it even makes a little beep for me <clears throat> <clears throat> i'm glad i moved that router that really made it i'd have never figured out what was going on i would not realize i kept couldn't understand why my stream was down I've been rebooting the router repeatedly, <laughs> but 
my brain wasn't uh, I was on one thing at a time so um, I could go over there and watch it boot up but there's no real point in that I don't think so yeah, we're on the desktop I like making the live streams because um, once I'm done, they're already up there. They're already uploaded, and all I have to do is – still takes plenty of time when I do long videos. I, re I go back through them and see what's in them and rename them and put uh, descrip description. And a lot of times I'll go and key points that I might want – anybody might be interested in or I might want to find again, I'll put the time in there. If you just type the time in the description, it'll make – it'll put a link. It automatically make, turns it into a link to that spot in the video. So that's pretty cool. It's almost like editing. <laughs> so uh, I some, if I do a lot of that, though, especially on a long video, it can take a long time, hours. Like, <laughs> you know, like on a four-hour video, it can take easily two hours easily or even longer sometimes to do that. So I have to watch because – then all that time I'm doing that, I'm not working on some, on what I'm trying, the job I'm trying to do. Making the video is just like a plus to it. It's not the goal to me. So <clears throat> it's just and 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 also though going like today especially this right here, this DNS stuff. Going through the videos, a lot of times I'm actually getting more focused on. Okay, what did I do and how did that turn out? And I'm seeing things that I didn't notice while I was doing it. It reconnects if it's booted up. It sure is. And, uh, like, I found several things today that I thought I was going to have to do a lot of research on, and I realized, well, if it's in the video. Uh, I was almost there, you know. I just <clears throat> didn't have it. I didn't realize how close it was, you know. So a lot of this stuff uh, that I was wondering about, I feel more uh, confident that that's... Oh, uh, this is what I, you know, need to do. Okay, let's see. Root down. ETC config. Okay, so, okay, there it changed. It's now Bishop Code Local Domain. It does not say Bishop Code Home .net, but it still has uh, 192.168.0.1 as the name server. And that would be because the name of server is still on, right? <clears throat> Did it? St now I've completely forgot. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay. When I open this thing up, this thing does not even have a move way to move it to the other. Maybe it's over here. This one is so backwards. That's why I've never used it. I don't even know if you can move it to uh, the other workspace like you can all every other program on here. This is one of the weirdest looking interfaces. Well, I'll just, uh, I mean, I like that it moves through quickly and all that stuff, but I'm going to, oh, I like to have my file browser in that workspace, but I don't want to lose that uh, where I'm at in those screenshots because in order to, In order to see my newest screenshot, I'll have to go here. See, it does open up pretty quick, it, but it won't open up full screen. There's no way to tell it to do that, so let's see. What I want to know is, did, I know I did a screenshot, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. So I didn't do a screen. only ones I did was rebooting the router and stuff. Well, I was trying to make my video work better, so I was removing bunch of stuff before I start it. Bishop code us dot two with the IP address that was just in there. I didn't get a screenshot of that. That's the one I just now took. <coughs> so um, unless I copied it and pasted it into yeah I think I did into my text file. No, maybe I didn't. This one is for NS lookup. <clears throat> so I guess uh, 
because now I can't remember if it was my external IP or the, I think it was the router. See, this is, <laughs> this is where I get into trouble. Okay. Um, recent document. Okay, and this is when I did hostname CTL. Okay, local domain. That tells you about yeah. Now that only gives you the information on the local machine. And then output for hostname CTL again. Oh, that was the EPUB version of it. Is that all the text files I got? You can't organize this one, uh, this this opening by file extension. So, mostly all screen the screenshots. I went ahead and put them in one in this folder so that I could find them. There's another one. Open that one. Let's see what else is in there. It looks like you can still look. Zone file. Yeah, I want to look at my GoDaddy zone file too, probably. We'll see. I mean, it's not going to be able to be using it. It's got everything that, that could possibly be configured in there. <coughs> that is not, <coughs> not big enough. It's a 10. It's not even... Oh yeah, in this one little main control dot com. That's when I did it, and uh, the other day when uh, when I was running some of this, com yeah, this one here, host TNS. Let's try that. Host TNS. And I whoops. Can't seem to hit the right the whole thing. Uh. <coughs> anyway, yeah, let's see what comes up in there. Things could be different today because things haven't been working right, too. So, oh, this is that file. So, you see, this is automatically ge generated, just like I thought. So, I don't want to edit that file. Um, I, yeah, okay. So, if I turn off, now in a minute, I may do it. Turn off my uh, name server in my, my DNS caching name server in my router, then it'll quit doing that, and then. I'll really know with my uh, what my net permax is doing. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if yeah, it just tells you the what you can do. So you have to put in you have to put in the host name. Okay. Yeah. See, now that still tells the GoDaddy. Uh, and uh, see, this is what I keep thinking I need to do, and I still probably do. I think what it is is my bishop code up biz. Bishop code up biz. Um, see, it's still set to the GoDaddy's name servers. And <clears throat> so I think I need. That, that bishop code.biz zone, zone file, I didn't name it. In there, I didn't put ns1. I would have been just said ns1. See, they have see they they have jillions of them, and this is ns12, ns11, the primary and the backup. Uh, so if I name mine like that, bishop uh, ns one dot bishop dot biz for that for this one, the one I'm trying to set up right now, and then the other one would be bishop code.com. Well, I made my I noticed they made their zone file some other name that had no sense to me. It meant something to them, but nothing to me. I just thought, well, I'm going to name it what my domain name is. But what's in there, <clears throat> whenever I, I'll go back in it in a minute. Actually, I have screenshots of it. Uh, uh, there's no, that might be the file where I need to put ns1. Dot. I need, might need to change that. That's another thing I might need to change. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, <clears throat> I don't think I want to do, well, let's do them. Let's see. Let's just do all. 
Try to go fast. I can't. Can't do it. Okay. 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 So that, I think that's all of them. Now they all go daddies, and which is what I would, what I expect. You know. Now I have that file open, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to add to this file this time. Ah, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna close that file for now. NS lookup. I'll close it too. Less things I have open, the less I'm gonna. Now I don't need that again either. And that right now. <clears throat> okay, so I don't need to edit that. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't edit it yesterday. Now. I'm gonna reset so that the, that uh, I'm trying. I, I lost several chances to save my work <laughs> and to be able to look back through it. So <clears throat> doing it now as I go. So I guess I need to go ahead and turn that off in the router now because uh, it, my website's going to be down. It should be up now. I think. USC Linux security alert. What happened yesterday? Oh, I know what it is. It happened right before I shut down. Um, touch attempt access on DAC override on this capability. Details. I was like, what in the world? <clears throat> and uh, I installed a program called... Uh, I just haven't wanted, you know, I was right before I went to bed, but uh, it touches, you know, create a file. So I was like, oh, what the heck is trying to create a file? And <clears throat> when I looked in here in this part, our log watch, yeah, or log watch. So uh, it said mail. I saw mail first, and I was like, oh, no, you know, spam, some sort of malware in my Thunderbird. But no, that log watch is a program I just, it's supposed to watch your logs on your system. So I'll have to, I'll probably go ahead and do what it says to allow. It says somewhere in there it tells you what to do to allow it to do it. But um, that's another another set of work to do. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so um, now bishopco.com hasn't been, and donsogs.com has not been working all evening. I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, it's been down, been down all day anyway. So, uh, just that was the first one that came up when I started typing. So, the Bishop Code Out Biz is working perfectly now. That, <clears throat> let's, I guess I should just go ahead and, uh, before I do anything else, let's see if what, if there's something going on as to why that's. <clears throat> now, subdomains. Okay, it's got a weird IP address in there. That's what it is. I don't know how it got that. I wonder if something last IP forty-seven twenty-four fifteen eighty-two. Let's see what that even would try to go to. Somehow it changed itself because my IP address is still. Let's go in the D link and make sure. <clears throat> I don't know how it could have. I mean, it didn't change itself. I don't know what happened. 47, 24. That has changed. No, no. There it is. 27, 24, 15, 82. I believe that's the same as it was in there. But that's not going to come up, whatever that is. But I don't know why. Uh, yeah, see, there it is right there. 
the last one I, I didn't change it uh, and it's not unheard of I guess I should uh, let's get out I'm gonna get <laughs> I don't know what I'm showing here let's see oh actually yeah, as long as you don't yeah as long as you don't know my password it just doesn't well let's let's just don't do it that way anymore okay so uh i'm gonna reload the page and do it again so i'll get a new uh get a new one of those whatchamacallits that you can i can't read uh so this is my a my a uh what do you call it type a point domain dot domain dot com uh to a hard coded ip address most direct and straightforward options uh, a record then there's mx or uh, point of subdomain to a mail server aaa point of subdomain to a ipv6 c name point of subdomain to a uh, host name to another host name <clears throat> let's, we'll look at that in a minute okay let me get this set and i'll show that Oh, I can't read that. I can't read it at all. I don't know what it says. Give me a new image. Okay. Now, let's go to uh, well, I should have it might take a few minutes for it to take effect, but let's get back on the desktop before I forget that part. <clears throat> but what, but anyway, I've got it back to my my IP address. It had some IPS address that I don't know what it was, uh, and I don't know what changed it. Um, that has happened before once in a while. Some. Uh, IP address. I think that happened before. I never did know what did. It doesn't happen a lot. If it happened all the time, then I would figure somebody broke into something of mine and they're messing with it. You know. Bush of Code Biz is still up and running just fine. But I figured out uh, through going through all of my what's up and what's down. Okay, Bishop Code that worked. You see, it finally took it took effect. It went to Bishop Code. Bishop Code com went to. You know my my website quicker than I can even notice it, and that's what it usually does. And Don Songs is working, so it's what I suspected, and I should have uh, I should have went and uh, yeah. Now they're all working. <coughs> uh, that's usually the last thing. Well, I mean, if your IP address hasn't changed, you usually don't have to worry about. And here's what I was looking at. Mine is set to be an A name. See that A there? That's called, I call it an A name or A. Now here's what I was looking at. Let's see. Okay, we're on the desktop. <coughs> uh, point to a subdomain, uh, subdomain dot, domain dot com. Hard coded. I'm not going to read it all. Uh, MX is mail. AAA is IPv6. C name. Now that's a common one. Subdomain to a point a subdomain to another host name. Good for those who are using other dynamic DNS services. You can create a C name record to another host, and whatever subdomain you can use here will go whatever IP address. Other, oh well, yeah, I'm using their dynamic DNS, not someone else's. So okay. NS name server. Oh, <coughs> point subdomain. To a name server. If you choose this option, whatever subdomain dot com address you choose using free DNS will have to be configured or set up to. Let me read this.
So maybe, so what I was thinking, I'm not, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'll have to study this, but I got to thinking, well, I don't have a backup DNS. Uh, well, it's still not a backup, really. I was thinking, uh, sometimes they just time out. And it need, and if it doesn't have any place to try again, then I think it'll just quit, you know. So if I have, I'll try it without anything at first, I guess. But this is basically telling me, I think, that I could point this bishopco.us.do to my name server that I'm setting up. So I could try to go to my first, you know, bishopco.com goes to the net pro max. If it doesn't make it, then it'll try the secondary DNS, which would point it to, it would, you know, when he got there, it would say it was bishopco.us.2, but it would still be pointing to my net pro max and it would still be pointing to, of course, if I've set up, if I want to be really, uh, have a real backup I could have another server that's always running but I don't think I want to do that <clears throat> more electricity more noise more heat you know I mean I'd have to and I'd have to keep up with both of them it'd be twice as much work making sure they're both running and everything and and it, they don't go once you get them going good they don't go down the only time they go down is well these these machines like the IBM hardly ever went down for the years so three three years or four years I ran it uh, the net pro max will probably be fine the uh gateway 500 it will lock up sometimes especially when it's hot summer because it's just old and doesn't have enough power uh, it's a Tepenium three but uh, so you want it running all the time anyway but it's fine to i thought it was the biggest problem here uh, i thought it was the reason because it was old and slow that my websites were acting up but i think i finally figured it out just the other day it's my router and it's just barely working anymore that's another thing, but <clears throat> once I get this stuff going on, I may buy me a switch for in here and take my TP link router out there and turn. I, first, I have to put that's more work. I got to put DDWRT on it, take it out there and let it be the, the wire, wireless Wi Fi repeater for the D link. And it's stronger and in good shape and works good. Uh, it's not as powerful as the D link, but from it'll be great for repeating that signal, you know, picking it up and repeating it out there. And it's capable of something like 750 megabits wirelessly so <clears throat> and it's a gigabit router too so uh it might be even more than that wirelessly i can't remember but anyway and then txt lets you create txt records that's something exotic called say uh spf any spam loc means expressing location rp responsible so there and, and there's See then SRV service record, so uh, <clears throat> that's pretty cool stuff. I've done this before, but I'm going to save this page. Types FAQ. Yeah, types of what? Type. Uh, I don't know if you'd call it domains or. I guess I'll say domain types. I don't think it's not. It's domain types. It's not DNS. I don't think types. Uh, I'll put. A, et cetera, that should tell me that that's what that's all about. And then I'll put that over in my server <coughs> page. But yeah, that's, um, I wish I just, I bet I didn't screenshot that. But that odd, yeah. Oh, I did, I lost the page now. So, so I I don't know. <clears throat> I should have screenshotted that odd IP, but I didn't. So close that now. Okay. <clears throat> so that's back up and running, right? Yeah, my websites are working. Okay, so nothing's broke now. Now I'm gonna take them right back offline. But now I know what was going on. I, I meant to do that. I kind of thought I should do that right away, and then I got off on everything else. Okay, now let's go back to 
features, not feature settings, network. Now we're going to disable the uh, <coughs> DNS relay. So that's a DNS caching relay server. This is what I basically have already built. I mean, this is what I just got through building and I already had one on my router. Um, that's cool. I mean, that's a cool feature. And it has to be on for my websites to work with this router. Now, the other ones didn't have that, uh, that I know of. If it was there, I, it was there, and I didn't know, you know, it was, I don't remember it. I do know one thing. My TP link would happily let you set up forwarding, you know, from the Internet to whatever machine you wanted, but it never worked. And so I never was able to use my TP link. That's one reason why I kept my the old Linksys in the, my Daisy. I made it my. How did I do it? Oh, I made it the second on my Daisy chain, but I would I could forward oddly enough if I remember remember right. I forwarded from the. You know I went modem, TP link forwarded to the Linksys router, and then the Linksys router was my my IBM server was plugged into it and I forwarded to it. I think that's how I was able. Either that or I had to have the Linksys connected to the modem and do it the other way around. But see, then that would, <clears throat> that makes the oldest, slowest router. It was 100 megabit wired, but 54 wireless. And back then I was running the wireless on all of them because I thought that was more better and too much is just right, you know. But, uh, <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to say my websites will be down. What happened a while ago when I did this? <clears throat> and there won't it won't be serving up any uh, domain names because I, I took that out of there. I don't think that actually hurts anything. I don't think it really does anything on your internet. So that's not going to come in, I'm sure. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it's going to keep saying can't find them. <coughs> but so that tells me my net, <coughs> net core max is not <coughs> not talking to the internet <coughs> okay oops I hit enter and I meant to hit uh, some. I was trying to type out donsongs.com I have to wait till it answers now, but it's not going to there. So I'm going to stop trying to go there. And uh, <coughs> okay. <coughs> I guess I'll try a cough drop. I've taken enough medicine. And all of a sudden, I hit. Just started. Feeling the you know drainage going down my throat, it's choking me. It's so bad. Sometimes they help. These are not the ones. Actually, you know what? I thought these sure free ones would taste worse. They taste better, but they don't. They're still the same brand. They're still the Ricola. Yeah, but they don't have echinacea, and I guess that's what really helps with the. I think it actually helps the drainage stop for a little while. Anymore. I want some of those other ones, I guess. I would think I'd be able to reach the, that's the Netpro Max's IP. <clears throat> well, okay, but this is doing a lookup from online, okay, evidently. So obviously it's not going to go there, but I'm sure I can go there, let's make sure, locally. If I can't, then I got another problem going on. Look like looks like I can't go there locally. 
And so that means my web server is not working. Hmm. But uh, the machine, I mean, I'm remote adminning it. Oh, wait. I can't go to the gateway either. And I should be able to just go directly to those machines. It shouldn't matter what the router has going on in it. Maybe. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe it does make things, <laughs> everything work. It's not just talking to the internet, but it's talk, it's it's telling my local network where things are too. Because look at that, I can't go to either one of them. See, it didn't. It can't go to them. So that's not something I expected from turning that off. <clears throat> I don't have, I don't know what the hell, either do a Google search or I guess I can get to get online, can I? <clears throat> My router's up and everything's good. I don't think that breaks your internet connection, does it? I think it breaks your internet connection. Now that I didn't expect. And I do believe the routers, oh, what came in? <clears throat> okay, 154 came in finally. <clears throat> but why did it take so long? Maybe because uh, it's been relying on the that DNS caching server and that. But these, I think Google and Ustar, now that's local, of course, but so is the Net Pro Max. See, it's, it should have came up by now. But it could be the router needs a restart. Oh. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the IP address? Yeah, it's the same IP address as normal. But for some reason, I think it started on, I think Fedora 23 and probably maybe even before that. This, uh, the virtual networking is on by default. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, I guess if you turn it off, it might mess things up. So I'm going to close those. That one worked. This one has not worked. Oh, it finally worked. It sure did. It finally came in. But I'm thinking... I can restart the router from in here. Reboot, auto reboot, never. Yeah, you can tell it. This one, you can tell it to reboot overnight or whatever if you wanted, but they might reboot. I'm up day, one day I'm up at the day, one day I'm up at the night. Oh, save the settings. I've already backed them up, I think. Okay, yes, I want to restart the device. Okay. <clears throat> um, so he could probably reboot right while I'm streaming or something, so I don't do that. But actually, uh, it could do you a lot of good to have them. To, if there was, like, if you kept a real constant schedule, it could do you a lot of good. It keep you... Keep your, your, 
your connection faster and working better because <clears throat> the RAM and the cache and some other things that I can't remember what they're called begin be, fill up. And especially if you do heavy activity like I do, like streaming and stuff. <coughs> Oddly enough, this stream does not. Uh, it's probably at the most two megabits, more like one, one and a half megabits is all it ticks up. But as far as, you know, how much, and I have 10 megabits up and 200, suppose, you know, capable down. Uh, most I've been, I mean, I generally stay, I, when I test it, since I got my new router, Moon Modem, it's about 148 to 185. <coughs> down <clears throat> so um but that doesn't mean the that's what when your machine when your routers and mo and stuff stop working it's not because well i mean sometimes the hardware is just wearing out and things aren't working well but okay but the reason the problem there's two problems if you're using wi-fi they keep changing the technology and the strength of the you know the, the signal and all that stuff and they keep using up more and more bandwidth, and the, and, and the channels are closer and closer together. And uh, then they try to make their technology better so that the interference is not are not walking on each other. But it's a constant fight. So the older routers can't handle the new sig newer signals that the newer routers are putting out. Can't fight with them. And uh, I don't know why I went back to the router again. Okay, so that one worked. Let's hit a reload on it and see if it just comes right back up or what. Yeah, it just reloaded so fast that you can't really tell. That one's still, well, no, they're both, they're, they're not that, they, they were slow. They were so slow that <clears throat> I thought it was done. You can't ever tell on this machine. So it'll take them a while, I guess. Now I'm going to hit my home button and see if I've got, I thought maybe after turning off that DNS casting server that I needed to restart the router. It actually could be, oh, Maybe I need to close Firefox and get rid of its cache. Sometimes if you, uh, when, when you're net, like if you lose your network and then you get it back up and Firefox still won't connect anything, then you just close it and open it back up and it's fine. So I'm going to do that. I'll just have to log back in here. <coughs> uh, I think I'll reset that. Now see, that's working fine though, that part, but that's not internet. Kind of networking so i'm just going to close it and then open it back up and uh <clears throat> make sure it's down yeah, it's not quite down yet eog what is eog screenshot why does that stay in there Just that one. Well, I have, well, it's not using up like a bunch of stuff or anything. Let's see. 41 megabytes. Why is it using so much? Well, I need that to work. As long as it doesn't grow any more than that, I'll be all right. <clears throat> Maybe I just have never noticed that before. Firefox is down now. I'm st I don't want to break anything that I'm using here. <coughs> Fix one thing at a time. I just realized I've been working Firefox pretty hard. It's, uh, this machine can't handle a lot of hard work with Firefox. So I had to close it every once in a while. I mean, usually it's when I'm watching videos. See, now it's taking a while to open back up. Now let's see if it goes online. Did it say... <clears throat> What was I reading somewhere about if you do the, if you change settings, clean your cache and all that stuff? 
didn't say something about cleaning the browser cache, didn't it? It could be, I think it did, uh, from that page I was reading. It would make sense, I guess, because if uh, it's still, you know, it's it's looking for that router. Okay, now maybe it's going to work. I don't know. Surely I haven't, I mean, it doesn't show. I, I show to be online. My, my, my modem's up online and my router shows good. And I rebooted it just a while ago. Shouldn't be, but see, it's not acting like it's online. Except for I know I have networking for sure because I was just connected to the Net Pro Max. I'm starting to think it's not that I'm, <coughs> you know, offline, but it's that I'm. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even didn't go to Google. This one, uh, a lot of that that's out of the cache. Clear data, manage data. Well, that's cookies. I didn't think there was anything about name server in there. I don't ever mess with it. I used to do that. Let's see. And there used to be like clear cache, you know. Right up in there in the menus. Clear recent history. That's not what we're talking about. If I clear all the cookies, I, I don't like cook, the third-party cookies and all that, but if I clear the cookies from where I normally log in, <coughs> then uh, I have to go through all the trouble of going through, t jump through hoops to get logged back in and get a cookie again. <coughs> so I'm going to do that. Okay, so that I didn't expect. I'm offline, evidently. There is one thing I usually the go to. I don't see why I would need to do that, but let's see. Yeah, I don't need networking just to record a video. Disable networking. Enable networking. I don't want to reboot the machine or anything. Normally, you don't have to anyway, but... <clears throat> Connection established. Okay, now I reload in Google. Oh, there we go. I thought about that a while ago, and I was like, no, that's not what I want to do. Look at there. So something in all what I did <coughs> knocked me offline. So, uh... Now we'll get back in the uh, Net Pro Max. Go to the, let's see, do we want to go to the router? <clears throat> let's just leave it like that and see what I need to do next. Well, let's see. Um, if Dawn Songs comes in. Okay, that came in good. Mm 
That came in good. Came in. <clears throat> okay, so I don't have to have... <clears throat> I don't have to have uh, <clears throat> that turned on, but doing this caching server and the router for my for my forward my route everything to work going to my website. Now that goes to 54. Okay, yeah, now it's coming in real fast like it should. Whoops. Both of them are okay. So my networking was jacked up. Something got jacked up during. While I was doing in the router. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay. Now all these. My website pages are coming up from the, the Gateway 500 right now. <clears throat> Now let's try because it could have been same problem and you know this this could have been not working because of my network was jacked up <clears throat> after changing things in the router. <coughs> But it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I can type fast. <clears throat> my fingers do that. They go back and forth between the coordination between my brain and my fingers. It comes and goes all the time. <clears throat> Alright, so I won't go through the whole list. I just know that bishopco.com is going to the forward and bishopco.biz is hard coded in GoDaddy to go straight to my straight here okay so um, oh yeah you, there's no memory in this thing okay, let's see if I can get to this this machine this is the machine I'm typing on you know this is a remote session into the Remote terminal <clears throat> into the NetPro Max. It still looks like it's not going to. Okay. I put the wrong dot 153. Try the right IP address. There is no 0 0.3. No, well, I mean, there could be, but. No, there's not. That's not even an IP address in my network. It starts with 100. <clears throat> 0 0.100. But uh, still not going to work. Fifty-four. Now that's the gateway that uh, the garage is serving up my websites. So don't look like they're going to come up. Yeah, they didn't. <clears throat> so let's see what we're what we got going here. Okay, so this is auto generated. Back to this, it's auto generated uh, by this somehow by the system. It changed uh, when I rebooted the machine after I took. Uh, yeah, and it got it all from the router. It got all this information from that DNS server in the router, that little DNS caching server. Okay, so that I want off to try to make this one work. Now this one, I guess, then is not working. Not, not even on the local network. I don't guess. Okay, so but, etc. Resolve config is not the one I need to edit. Uh, I don't think. Let's see. Well, no, it got done automatically. Let's look at it again. Let's see what it has in there now. I guess I'll reset this. B 
Bishop Coda and local domain, don't, and, and then uh, <coughs> local domain. Yeah, so this is being generated automatically. So I don't think I can edit this, or maybe I can. I mean, if I did, if I can, I'd go ahead and put in there <coughs> Bishop Co. Dot, uh, is, and then I'd leave that alone because I don't think I can. I don't think I can change that. Well, I could change it to 154, and maybe I should again. <laughs> I just need to know if that's really what I'm supposed to be doing before I go doing that. All right, now uh, the zone file. Bishop Codot Biz Zone. That's in bar named. Let's go ahead and open up. That's a oh, can be a quick way to. Let's see. Minot Commander. <clears throat> can be a quick way to get this stuff. Something it's going to open up. I want to go to bar named. Bishop cut up his zone. How come it's not opening up? <coughs> it's still thinking about it. Worked perfectly yesterday. Let's see if everything. Yeah, it still looks like I got a sound. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, so I want to go to var named Bishop caught up this zone uh, F3 will view the file whoops hit the three on the keyboard instead one, two, three. there we go okay <clears throat> now it's got Bishop code out biz root dot Bishop code out biz okay Got some numbers, I don't know what they mean. And of course, this I know IN means internet. SOA, I forgot what that means. You know what? That SOA might ought to be. Can, am I able to edit it? Oh, this is in a view mode. That SOA might need to be NS. I forgot what SOA stands for. You can't copy it. You can, can I copy this out of here? Yeah, you can. So what I'm going to do is uh, I just paste that in there and see what comes up. What is the SOA record? <clears throat> I thought it might. Start of authority. Every domain must have a start of authority record at the covert points. Okay, maybe that's it's just... I N is you know internet S O A. Let's see. Oh, I see. I think the S O A is Bishop Code of Biz. <coughs> From an S O A record. Oh, in S one. Maybe I should be having. NS1 in there, dimple.com. Primary name server. Oh, the number of seconds before the zone is referred, and so on and so on. This might be where I need to put my NS1. Maybe I've got that done. But I don't know for sure because I was following instructions and maybe I did it right. <clears throat> but it might be I should put ns1.bishopco.biz and then leave that root bishopco.biz. And then that is the server of this machine, the IP address I mean, so that should be good. Okay, now, uh, forgot, oh yeah, escape twice and get out of that file, but not the program. <clears throat> that was the zone file. Yeah, that is where I was thinking maybe I needed to do that. Okay, let's look at another. Let's 
Start of authority record. SOA. Oh, okay. They all say in S1, admin, so on and so on. Okay, that's oh, that's where I was. I thought that looked awfully familiar. <coughs> Wikipedia usually just goes around the block telling everything under the sun. Let me see. Reservation for start of authority. Well, at least it tells you right quick what that is. Name, name of zone, primary name, server. My name is Serial Retrain. Time to live. Okay, so it's start. SLA stands for Start of Authority. Okay. what I thought I had clicked on I think Google zone file. Okay. Okay. Mydomain.com dot. Yeah, I don't have those dots in there. And I, some places I saw you had to do that. I don't have it open anymore. <coughs> See, I don't have dot at the end. And then I saw that some places it said you have to do that or it won't work. And other places said you don't have to. So let's see. This one has mydomain.com. And then, then it, IN. Okay, IN. Mine doesn't have it that way. It just says IN. Ampersand IN. There's no ampersand in this one either. NS. My name server.com. Root. NS, my name is Sherlock. Okay, so I don't know if I even actually may have that wrong then. <coughs> my domain.com. I think that's time to live right there, actually. Then NS, NS2, NS3. Then down there, they got local host. Where it's this one, an SOA records, authority records. They all say NS, <coughs> nameserver.com. So that must look like one of the first things I have need to change. Could be why mine's not doing anything. But it's not just. See, the root needs to be root.ns. Okay. Oh, that's more like what mine is. But it's .ns. Or, 
Okay, can also be written. may want to ch I'm kind of <clears throat> keep going back and forth we know should I edit this or leave it alone I think I'm going to edit it because it's not working and uh, let's see okay four is edit okay there we go now I can edit it okay so I'm going to say ns1 just like I've been saying because that's what makes sense to me. Dot. Let's see, put out biz and then root. Already forgot the syntax. Root dot ns one. Root dot ns one. Dot. Let's see, put out biz. Okay. That's the only thing I think I need to. How do you save it? Two is to save. Okay. So I'm going to do it like that because <clears throat> I think maybe that's what I need to do. <clears throat> yeah, this is a, this is the built-in editor to uh, Midnight Commander. That's all right. I like it. That's what I'm going to start using. As long as it works, that's good. You're already in there looking. Instead of hitting uh, F3 for just view, I'll hit F4 and I can view and edit. Okay, let's look at those instructions again. Yeah, ns.nameserver.com, root.ns. Okay, now I saw them doing that over and over in those instructions, so I'm pretty sure, and this is in your zone file. So, uh, this is my zone file. Okay. Yeah, zone file. All right, so this one. The only thing is, <clears throat> I think you only need one zone file, and you just keep putting different uh, you know all your different domains in it. But well, I, when I did this, I thought you needed a zone file for each domain. Uh, if I can, li if if I do, if I do need a zone file for each domain, I'll be fine. I'll just because I named this. Uh, Bishopco.biz zone, see, so uh, which I thought kept me from getting confused about anything. So we'll see uh, if it won't be good with that name. And if I rename it, of course I'll have to rename. I'll have to go back in and edit the files that are pointing to this zone file. And so we'll see. I mean, I could just leave it like that, but it'll just bug me from now on. It'll confuse me. So we'll see. Okay, two F two. Save. Okay, now the exit okay now before I move on I'm gonna go through some more of my screenshots let's actually go back okay I don't want to edit that it's automatically generated that one is the one the zone file that I think I think that could be why it's not working we'll see okay now this is what I went on to I want to kind of went ahead to this screenshot all the stuff about record oh I want to edit the uh, name named config where is that I think it's etc name config. Let's go look for it. And I want to change that recursion to no. That's all I have to do there. Okay. Named config. It's not in this folder. I think it's etc. I'm starting to get hungry again. Oh, yeah. This is one with the J in files folders in files posts well we don't need to look at all that stuff name 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 config that's not the one that is named config etc name config but that's not the little short and sweet file that I was looking for maybe it wasn't short and sweet oh yeah it wasn't This is better than nano. It doesn't do that weird stuff when you start. Pull. Yeah, any, none, the directories of everything. It's just got all these colors. It actually helps you find stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do then 
is uh, do a screenshot. Not N I N O. You know spells no. Right. <clears throat> and then DNS enable validation. I don't remember that even being in that file. Maybe I just didn't go to the bottom of it. Yeah, those lists of where the... I need to see if maybe this points to a zone file. It might answer my question about that sort of stuff. This is... Uh, named config. I guess that's the main config file for the pro for the program. Okay, there's zone. Something about zone right there. Name dot C A. Oh. Yeah, I could have messed up. <clears throat> oh, and there's that, yeah. I don't know about that. I'll have to look. Look at named.ca. Let's do it this way. I'm doing a screenshot before I, before I move on here. Name, yeah, and there's that, uh, that one I remember seeing that instructions. That's a standard a stock stock file. Oh, there's my zone file. Okay, and that's the very last thing in there. Bishop code out biz. File. Bishop code out biz. Okay, now <clears throat> uh that's the way I have it. And uh if that's wrong, like named dot C A, we'll find out. I haven't saved this yet. F2. Save it. Now, exit it. Okay. Where is name.ca? Did, did I not pay attention to where it is? It's not right here next to this one, is it? I certainly don't see it. Okay, let's open it again. We'll just read it this time. File name.ca, but what folder is it in? Na Named.ca. Huh. I don't know where it is. <coughs> I wonder if there's a search function in this file manager. There should be. See, let's stay in ETC now then. View, copy, move, delete. No, not there. F9. Or find or search. Find a file. Type. Find recursively all words. Case sensitive. Find recursively. Oh, content. Well, I don't want it case sensitive. Using shell patterns. That's a standard thing, I suppose. Skip hidden. Yeah. Finished. Well, it's not an ETC. Okay. Um, maybe it's in var. Let's just go stay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just search in there. <coughs> There's no shortcut. Well, there probably is a shortcut, but you. Oh, M. 
dash question mark or M question mark? Probably M dash. Yeah. Oh, at least it stays in there, huh? Var named. It's in var named. I've already see it. <coughs> okay. Well, let's let it. Yeah, it's finished now. Var named. Name.ca. Now I'm going to edit mode, but let's get out of there. That looks like a file I could break. F3. It's always safer to read them in, in uh, a non edit mode. Yeah, this is. I think this is auto generated. So, yeah, this is not something I'm supposed to edit. Oh, these are the servers it's got. Look at there. It's got uh, answer section. Okay, all these are root servers. These are the first ones they talk to. And these, I think, don't change very often at all. Uh, some of those are IPv6 addresses. Yeah, AAA, AA, AA. I remember that just a minute ago when I was, re we were reading, I was reading about, we were reading about, I was reading about <clears throat> what those mean. A is IPv4. IP4, IPv4, yeah, IP version soar and AAA, A, 4As, IPv6, <coughs> query time 24 milliseconds, server 198, 41.0, 4.53. So, yeah, we don't want to bother with this. This is uh, what tells it. Oh, and then my, mine is right there. Let's look at uh, empty. It says it's empty. And I guess it's empty. I guess. It's got the, uh, I want to say turnaround, uh, the default local address. The uh, loopback. Turnaround. Loopback address. Hit enter. That's what you do in most file managers. Hit enter to open them up. Now this one is local host. It doesn't have anything in there. Our name invalid, but it's got the loopback address. Now I'm not going to edit any of that unless. Uh, and then there's a loopback one, and it's got our name invalid. I wonder if uh, that needs to be edited. I'm not going to bother with them if things work. So I'll take it all one at a time. Okay, so now we're doing the editing that I was kind of half afraid to do, but okay, edit his own file, edited the named.config file, and uh, yeah, that's in name. No, my zone files are in bar name. Named config, I think, is in etc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Named config. Yeah. ETC name config. Okay, now. This is me uh, just figuring out more about all that. Then I went back and rechecked my. See, that was bishopco.us.2 with uh, still the router's IP, which I guess, I think that's, yeah, that's still what I'm getting there. And there's that file again. I was really studying that file, that uh, name config file and those notes in there. But it actually helped me figure out what to do. I mean, that's what told me what to do. I didn't know where I was going to go to figure it all out. Now, here's my, we'll just go through this quickly. Make sure it looks like everything's working. <coughs> okay. Uh, name config, let's see. Oh, now I'm in the actual. Keep getting confused as to where I'm at. Screenshot. Okay, so um, yeah, now these are the screenshots, and uh, I could probably make these full screen, but uh, tells you what kind of image it is. It really doesn't matter. Well, it might as well be there, hadn't it? Now it's just a black thing. How do you make it? Well, don't worry about it. <coughs> I could make it full screen, I suppose. Somehow, let's see. Yeah, F11. Yeah, I'll make it full screen while I'm going through them. 
So uh, it was actually it was less confusing to me to have it like it was, but make it bigger, easier to read. So these are what was up and down. It was just some. Uh, let's see. That's when it first went down. I first started trying to figure it out. That's my uptown robot monitor screen there. See, I monitor bishopco.com, donsonks.com, bishopco.us2, but it was down. Now, if it's down, these others should be down. So I still don't understand what the heck was going on. now. And I went to, this is Monstatic. It's called TV mode, and it checks it every 30 seconds or something like that. Uh, it showed to be good, but it wasn't working. And then it wouldn't load. Uh, Bishop code at US.2. Biz would load. Uh, that was uh, probably, I probably went to donsongs.com and then um, it forwarded, tried to forward to Bishop code. Well, now we know why because the IP address was wrong in my forwarding service. So then I went over there and I logged into Putty to the, the Gateway 500 and I typed the command reboot. It took reboot now uh, to get it to reboot. <coughs> Well, wait a minute. I think it didn't work, and I had to type just reboot. Some of them you have to type reboot now, and some of them you can just type reboot. Yeah, it got me some. Then reboot, yeah. It got me some output of what we'll try this and try that. So then it says it's going down for reboot. And you, it's weird. It defaults to that tiny text, and you can change it so that it's bigger, but then I, it doesn't save. Or, or maybe there's a way to change the defaults text size, but I really need a lot bigger text than Anyway, it still shows okay, but it wasn't okay. And so then it's you know it says it's rebooting. That's just the gateway. That was a remote shell into the gateway. And then now the 154, that's it. It's back up after I rebooted. So I can get to it on my local network. So I knew it was good. And it show and I just started saying, okay, let's you have to on Monstatic you have to tell it. It only checks it every 30 minutes, so you gotta tell it right there to check it, get it to go ahead and check. And uh, it wasn't, it, dot com wasn't up, even though the green, now I never noticed that before. This is Monstatic. It showed green. but So that doesn't work. I guess it's only showing the last check that it did. And I thought it was a, when you put it in the TV mode, it was a, a live check. You know, it would check it every so many seconds, but it doesn't. It checks the last check that, automated check that it did. I figured that out today, probably for the 50th time. So it was down. Dot com was down. Dot US2 was down. Uh, went to donsongs.com, which is at bishopcode.us.co on the forwarding. It still wouldn't come in. It was it shows to be down. And this was, you know, I kept messing around with this back and forth for a couple hours, hour, at least before I started my video, maybe a couple of hours. So I tried to add bishopcode.biz, and it said you can't add any more you know, up there at the top. <coughs> you can only have th three of them. On the free service, so then I went to Uptime Robot and they let me add another one. So I went ahead and added Bishop Code Up Biz. Uh, for some reason I didn't have it in there. I think it kept telling me it was down when it wasn't, so I got tired of messing with it. Um, but see, it was really weird. These show to be up at the, all during this time. They show to be up, but US.2 showed to be down. And uh, Bishop Code Up Biz was really up, and it showed to be up. Down there at the bottom, and uh, so I just kept trying, and it going in circles trying to figure it out. And I said, "There it is, Bishop Quad Up is still up. Dot two is not up. Dot uh, Biz is still up. Uh, down now. See, this is down. Been down for 39 minutes now, and uh, still checking them again. 41 minutes. This is all the time when I well I was eating and stuff too. So dot com is finally back up. Okay, so finally." What did I do? That's still okay. It shows to be at dot back up at bishop. It works at bishopco.com. Well, it says bishopco.com. Why is it showing loaded? We should say us.2. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. I think it was must have been cache or something in my browser because look at there now it's gone. Now it goes to us.2. So I just started that monitor, but yeah. So now it's back. It's showing that. Uh, only one up is Bishop Code Up Biz. That one says two hours. Uh, so then I, you know, checked my what was I doing there? <clears throat> Went into my port forwarding, looking around, I guess. Why is that in there? Oh, I guess I'm done. I'm past all up to date stuff and going into like 
older stuff or something. I guess it's turning around and starting at the end. So that was probably, yeah, the date, October 22nd, November 8th was, was today. Now I think it's the 9th. So, and that was a screenshot of me doing a video that I'll save. It's the IBM web server. I saved it because it's, that's, this was my web server. Now it's going to fix them to be my net pro max. And this is, of course, laptop. I always monitor everything. That's, you know, camera one and camera two. I'm always talking about. And okay. So we're done with that part. Um, let's go back to what, I don't think there's any more screenshots to be shown. I'll just stay there for now. I don't want to show anymore. Well, let's go the other way. Get past all that. I think that's all of today's screenshots, which that does help. I mean, look, that's out a couple of three hours worth of stuff that I can go through quickly, as long as it doesn't confuse me and anybody watching too much, which can be helpful. I'm going back through it to try to see if there's anything. Okay. There's something I can do is run zone minder. And I'm going to leave it right there because that'll remind me. I don't think I need to do it right now. I think what I need to do is, uh, yeah, let's get out of uh, us F10. I can't see my F keys anymore. Okay. Let's try and let's look up again. See if it changed anything. I think I'll have to. Oh yeah, I got to restart the machine or the services, and I'll just restart the machine. <clears throat> and I'm, we'll, we'll we'll see here. I don't believe it'll work. Yeah. Okay. So I'll reset the terminal so that I can get back into the. I think I have to say now. What am I doing? Restart. Restart. What am I doing wrong? Oh, reboot, not restart. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, the machine uh, not too bad. Fresh install with no GUI doesn't take too long to reboot, so that's easier, quicker than. Making sure I'm doing restarting all the right services, because I might. I think you. I think some. Sometimes oh, in the videos I've been watching, you say. Uh, now I forgot the commands. I'd have to look them up. But you restart network manager and uh, named. You know, and all that stuff. And so this restarts everything. So we'll either have got something going here, or we'll have completely broken it. We'll see. <clears throat> but since I'm. I don't know what I'm going to have to do here. Uh, I mean, let me see my... Oh, I can look on here to see how long the video's been going. Uh, I'm getting hungry. And uh, starting to need a break. Oh, I haven't done anything on GoDaddy. Well, that does... Oh. Well, actually... Okay, the websites were working though, weren't they? Yeah, once I once I uh, disconnected my net, it was this machine. Once I disconnected the network and went back, it uh, websites were all working, weren't they? So all that's left for me to figure out now is can I get the name server working? <coughs> yeah, I think. I'm feeling like I'm making. Well, I'm feeling like I'm making progress. We'll see <clears throat> here in a minute. <clears throat> I will see now if, if um, yeah, if that NS1 and all that stuff is right, then I can put it. Let's go ahead and log in. Oops. I hit a I hit the key instead of the enter. So I knew that wasn't gonna work. Okay, so um 
Well, let's just check first is is one of my websites working. I don't know why that is the one that always uh, yeah that's working at bishopco.us.2 okay yeah they're all working okay now uh I figured out something here with all this. Okay, it worked. Now, and it shows my external IP, and it doesn't show uh, 7110, 216, 1, 7110, 16. That's an, what's a 53? Well, that's not any of my IP addresses, but it worked. So, but the thing is, <clears throat> I still have this in my GoDaddy. And what I want to do is put my name servers as this machine. That, that name server name I just gave it, uh, ns1.bishopco.biz. I'll put that in GoDaddy. And, it, that, and then if that will automatically, if I understand this right, that will automatically, whatever my IP address is won't matter anymore. This is my goal, anyway, <clears throat> to understand how this works. Uh, because the name server will talk to the Internet and say, here I am, here I am. And so when the Internet starts looking for it, when Go, you know, GoDaddy will go to that name server and say, where are you? And it'll say, here I am over here at IP whatever it is. Uh, and instead of having to use the forwarding service and, and, and since, and, <clears throat> and, well, I've been just manually changing the IP in my forwarding service. And seeing if I set up all my websites, then uh, oh, and I can do them all one at a time because if this one's working like it is, that's cool. And uh, okay, that's one thing. I'm not. This is not going. This is still going to the gateway, though. It's not going to the uh, this machine, but that's fine. Uh, but anyway, the forwarding, the other websites that are forwarded, they're still going to work until I change, get off of forwarding. But right now it's working because it's hard, I'd say hard-coded, the IP is hard-coded in GoDaddy. Now, uh, NS, now I can say, see, now that way I can use my memory in my, and I don't have to type everything out every time. And okay, that's working. Uh That's working. That's working. Saves me a few steps anyway, doing it that way. Okay. So everything is working. Right now. And it's actually going to the gateway, not to this machine, because I still haven't changed anything in GoDaddy. Okay. Now, let's save that. Oh, I need to do that. Select all. Whoops. Select all. <laughs> now, hit copy. Now, I don't have a file open. I think... <clears throat> I think I may need to, uh, but yeah, I was want I want to go. I want to switch it to. Uh, I want to switch my GoDaddy over to this machine, but I think I'm getting to where I have to have a break, and I guess if I'm going to take a break, I may as well eat, and I guess I can just start again. <clears throat> you know, after that, I can't just do Control V because first I want to make the size, but one of those. Should be a paste button. Too many buttons, I can't find what I want. There's a paste button up there somewhere. I want paste unformatted text, is what I want. All right.
Let's do it that way. Okay, now. Oops. I accidentally reorganized it instead of opening that folder. Okay. Nice. And that works. Let's see. Biz.com. Dawnsongs.com. Psalm68.org. Where's Psalm68.com? Did I not do that one? I mean, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. So why isn't it in my file? Am I just not seeing it? Dot org. Did I not get it when I copied everything? Should have. The last one is Psalm68.com. Huh. I'm going to delete all that and try pasting it again. Worked that time. I don't know. I'm, I mean, it was all still all selected. So anyway, <clears throat> oh, let's do the IP. Reverse hookup IP. Now let's look up. I, I bet these aren't going to come in. Can't find them. You can't find the... Uh, can't find those. Okay. Might. But this is... I, that still has me... I, mean, I must not understand how that's supposed to work. Is the only thing I can Oops. Okay. So. Because it shows up to the internet, but not to the... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just dying for a break here. Okay, so... Um, that's what I'm going to have to do. And after I eat, if I'm not going to be eating my supper, aren't I? Yeah, I've already had my lunch. So I'm going to be eating my supper. I'm up all night again. But, yeah, this is going to be my supper. So if I don't feel too tired, maybe I'll go at it some more. I really want to try the GoDaddy. But my websites are back up, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can... Uh, uh, Try changing the changes for Bishop Codot Biz and GoDaddy. And uh, um, see, well, oops, see if it, uh, here's what I think I need to do. Um, it's kind of better to do it. I'll change this. <clears throat> kind of, I've have it hard coded with the IP address. That's making it work. So I'll take it out of there. And I guess I think, well, I guess I can just park it. Well, yeah, I guess I can do that. I, I was thinking I could forward it and then unforward it like I did before. And then that would, uh, anyway, I probably just park it. Just take that what's in there out and then it'll, I think it'll automatically go to park, parked. And then, um, then put my NS in this one up, Bishop code up is it's the, name server in there but I still don't know how do I know if my name server is talking on the internet is there some way I can tell that that other those other commands I ran I guess I need yeah I need to take that break so I will look through all these commands I've learned and if I need to go on the internet and search I'll do that yeah, and this should be, oh, no, yeah, this won't be, 
this is see this is not the net pro max and i'll be able to tell if it's the net pro max by doing that right there if that if that image comes up i'll know it's a net pro max once i get get it to you know make, i'm trying to get, get it talking on the internet <clears throat> okay so um that's i think it's talking on the internet, but right now i know it's not yeah okay, okay. so uh i think i did some good I'm getting tired again, and I'm just like, well, uh, what did I really do? <laughs> what have I really done? I think I'm going to open up um, Zone Zen Map, not Zone. Do I call it Zone Minder? Zen Map. Yeah, I'm going to open up Zen Map. have it really? that wasn't from another machine am I looking at the name of the program Z E N M A P oh we need to start it as super user anyway can't run it as uh, so let's open up a terminal I guess I could run it on this other machine no it this is a Zim apps a graphic user program Yeah, I don't actually this yeah, this is gonna open up. I don't need a whole big uh, command line. I don't have to read a lot in there. Okay. The command is yeah, okay. Sometimes you have to spell them uh, you know accordingly with the capitals and sometimes you don't. Now I don't, I don't want to about dot, not Bix, and uh, I don't think you have to put the HTTP in there, intent scan, let's see. Let's see what's coming up. It'll tell me all, the whole route, you know. It can take a while sometimes. Yeah, there's my IP. Four ports are open, <clears throat> um, and that's the gateway. And it'll tell you what ports are open. 5380, 9100, TCP. And it's already done, so we'll, I'll go ahead and let's see. And I'll do it again on. Uh, this one, Net Pro Max, 9100 Jet Direct. Oh, that's printing. Huh. I don't know why I have that open there. But not that it matters that much. Maybe I, I was probably trying to print over the network. I bet I was trying to print something. And I, well, I can figure. Unless I tried to, ma I wouldn't make it a print server. It didn't have a printer cooked up to it. And uh, Spectrum is. You see that it's on spectrum. And that's pretty much it. The uh, 53. I'm so, uh, <clears throat> you know what? I could have a name server installed on the thing. I don't remember. It's been so long since I set that thing up. Unless it's seeing this one, but I don't think so. It is scanning. It's possible that it's every port that's open on my router that it's detecting and not just every port open on that machine. There we go. 53, 80, 90, 100. That's just three ports. Uh, yeah, it's only got three ports open. I don't know how come I thought it said four. Ah. <sighs> And if you've never seen this program, it's pretty cool. It's a very good program. 
And uh, <clears throat> let's see. Save uh, all skins to a directory. Net. And I want to go to networking or let's see. I think I'll put it in Dawn's websites because that's what it's all about and create a folder for it because if I don't. Hey, we five hundred bishop cut up bits. No, it'll be. Uh, it's more than one file. You know, it's, it's a whole like group of files and stuff. So do it that way. If you if you just put it in like in any regular folder, it will just put a bunch of separate bunch of files in there, and it's hard to figure out what's going on. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> then I'll try to do that again when it's net net pro max. I was thinking that it would tell me somewhere like the host name of the machine and stuff. Which is the basic. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's why it says Bluefish. I use Bluefish to edit this. Uh, it has a robots text and. Uh, Apache server, title Don Jones classified, so that's bishopco.com or bishopco.biz. Both the same page, you know, the same site, just different domain name. Back in the earlier days, back in the, when I bought that, uh, early 2000s, so, you know, they were saying, oh, you need to get, need to get them all, you know, all the ones that's, uh, dot, the, first it was dot biz and stuff like that. Then it was dot us, and I was, I was like, yeah, I probably figured out. Nobody ever even remembers. There's only two kinds of people remember dot com and dot org. <laughs> Everything else, people don't have a, you know, people don't remember them. So, uh, nowadays, people are kind of beginning to get the idea. I think like like if you have a video site dot tv or if you have a tv station you could do dot tv or something like that or but the funny thing is most uh the way they uh, allocate those domain names they uh are actually allocated to different countries so like you know like uh uh dot uk everybody you know everybody realizes now most people realize now that's england you know and stuff like that but like some of them are Small, they were allocated to some really small cut. Well, like RU Russia, we know most people know that nefariously, uh, <clears throat> generally. But um, anyway, a lot of them, well, some of them don't actually really. The thing is, you don't have to have your site, you don't have to live in that country, have your site hosted in that country to use that dot domain. So I was going to say dot com file extension, but well, dot dot uk. I could get a dot uk. I could get, and you don't have like me. I have psalm sixty eight dot com and dot org, but you do not have to be a nonprofit to get a dot org. They kind of on TV, the news people constantly give false advice about that, saying, "Oh well, it's going to be legit if it's a dot org." No, if somebody's a scammer, they're a scammer. Anybody can buy a .org. You do not have to be a real uh, be a nonprofit head of .org to have it to buy a .org. That's my was my intention when I got it. And I still haven't filed my 501c3, and I haven't I haven't done anything with it except for build a website, <clears throat> but uh, not taking money or you know anything like that. Not not taking donations or anything. Not nobody's offered me any, you know. So. Um, but and I'm not up to anything, you know. I'm not doing anything with it. I just put up my, I put up what I wanted to do on the website. And uh, anyway, it does not make a hill of beans what you're 
dot is, you know, dot com, dot org, dot na, dot whatever. You're either up to no good or you're up to, or you don't know what's going on or you're up to some good maybe, you know, uh, or you're just trying to share your music with donsongs.com. That's really the only one I'm really doing, you know, care about right now. Uh, originally, I was selling bishopquo.com I got and bought biz because I was selling uh, pro sound gear online. Well, I quit doing that because I couldn't I couldn't compete with the, you know Guitar Center and all the big places. Music Musician Friend was the is Guitar Center's website, and that but that was the first big one that put pretty much put me out of business. You know, I was there before they were, but. Um, uh, they could buy things cheaper than I could. Uh, they could sell things cheaper than I could buy it for because of their huge volume, you know. So, uh, you know, that's how it goes. So, anyway, um, I still I like to keep my domain names, and I keep, you know, I want to. Be, I, I like because it's my name, Bishop. You know, my name's Don Bishop, and I like to keep them. DonSongs.com. I like to keep my music one. And that's why I'm working so hard to try to fix it because, you know, right now you can't even get to the download pages and everything. And it's still the reason I haven't edited the website. And to, I know how I could make it work, but I haven't edited it because I think if I get my server set up right, uh, the way it's built, it will work because it did used to work. I still haven't figured out what made it stop working. That just makes me think. <clears throat> Let's go to, the, I'll just go there, see if anything's changed. I don't think so from what I've done. No, it still goes to the wrong place. And let's see if this one still goes to, I think it's going to go to the GoDaddy error page. I think maybe it's something. They've never interjected themselves in their error pages onto my website on my server before ever. I don't see why how that's working other than that I'm using their name servers. So maybe if I get my name server up and working, it's taking forever. Sometimes it does that, and then it'll end up either not loading a page at all or going to a GoDaddy error page. And I can stop it, try it again. Sometimes it'll make it do something. There we go, GoDaddy error page. And the weirdest thing is it's talk. some of them will say something about a uh, short URL. Do you want to use our short URLs? I'm like, what? Sometimes I can keep clicking on it, and it'll go to just a little text error page up at the top. But this all was nothing wrong with it. Um, it points to bishopco.com, dogs on 002 HTML, and I, that file's still there just like always. <clears throat> that one points to bishopco.com. That one says www. Now, there's a few, my, you know, kind of editing errors, but they did both work. They used to. That one says bishopco.com living beings. That's just a folder. It doesn't have an HTML file noted, but that still has always worked. But what that one does is just go to the root of the whole website which is odd uh, <clears throat> and this one goes just flat goes to an error and I guess the www is what's causing that and that used to it didn't matter you could either just say bishopco.com or www.bishopco.com they, they, www uh, then uh, with or without it let's see I think the www is called an ali uh, alias no, what's the word? Um, <clears throat> I always saw something about that. I, I always used to know exactly how, how to explain that, but now I can't. But anyway, uh, I know what it is and what it does, but I can't explain it. <clears throat> Boy, it's getting hot in here. Okay, so I'm going to close that so I'll quit messing with it. I'm going to, let's see. Down now. I'm going to shut that thing down so that it's quiet while I'm eating. And uh, I'm going to eat my supper. All right. So um, maybe I made some headway. I still don't. All I know is I d edited that. And my websites are back online on the gateway. Now on here, what I think I'll do is forward it to bishopco.biz. I mean, I will. Not forward it. I will put my ns. What I'm going to do? Yeah, put my ns one dot biz as my name server. I still would like to know if the name server is working. 
before well i guess that's the quickest way to find out because when i try to go to it locally it doesn't work so maybe it's not working maybe i still don't have it set up right um, <clears throat> there's even, even still a possibility that the programs that i let you know fedora automatically install by just clicking on the box in the net installer that said install dns server and it just says dns server it doesn't say that it's a dns caching server or name server or whatever but what i under, think i understand what i what i under, what i think it's to be is you install the dns server that bind the, and then you set it up the way you what what you want to use it for so uh <clears throat> hopefully uh you know i can figure out how to set up my my uh, config files and everything so that it is uh, <clears throat> well f yeah, I, yeah let's see yeah there's nothing stop i was going to say do i have to have it uh, set up in the router yeah, I have to forward the router to this machine. That's two things I got to do. Set the NS1, uh, bishop.biz, and GoDaddy, and then forward the router to this machine. And uh, <clears throat> then it should work on the internet. Now, as far as me being able to NS look up at it on the local network, I've seen them doing it. But th that was in the videos where that was what they were doing, too. They were setting up a local uh dns server well that's not what i want anyway you know i mean it'd be okay if it talked to the local network and you know send out dns addresses you know send out addresses to the uh, ip addresses from don't name name you know to here but that'd be fine but that's not my goal <clears throat> so um okay yeah now i'm I think I've got in my head what I want to do. Hopefully, I'll do it tonight. If I'm too tired, I'll have to wait till tomorrow. If it, uh, it, won't pay, it won't pay to keep trying, especially this something this complicated to me. It won't pay to keep trying if I don't if I can't think straight about what I'm doing. I'll just jack it all up. But yeah, see, I can review what I just said at the end of my video, and I can tell myself what to do next time. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.